we have finite resources and at the moment we're just using them at an outrageous rate. But on top of that, we're using the resources and then we're creating pollution out of the resources. The world, the systems, the oceans, the rivers, they're choking with pollution at the moment, particularly plastic pollution, because it's one of the longest lasting types of nutrients or materials that we created. So we need to turn that process off and bring it back into proper, you know, new plastic economies. When they refer to closing the loop or the circular economy, what that means is basically taking it from a linear take, make and dispose method of what we've been doing since the industrial age. Closing the loop is turning that line into a circle. When we first make something, we make it with the idea that we know where it's going to end up and it can be repurposed, it can be reused and brought back into the system. Hi, I'm Louise Hardman. I'm the founder of Plastic Collective. Petroleum-based plastics, which at the moment is most of them, um, take a long time to break down in our oceans and in our waterways. Plastic bottles take around about 450 years to break down. Fishing lines, which is one of the longest lasting ones, takes about 600 years. Plastic bags take up to 20 years, which in the meantime, one animal after the other can consume that and die from it, and it will still go on to another animal. Yeah, the original Schroeder, which is a small mobile recycling machine, is a combination of two machines. It's a shredder extruder, hence the name Schroeder. So the shredder shreds material into small flakes that gets collected. The flakes go into a hopper, which is an extrusion barrel. It melts it, remolds it, and that can be made into different products. When communities turn their waste into resources, they basically can have a number of products. So the first product would be shredded material that's sorted into different grades. Those shredded materials can be sent to companies um, that are making products and replacing virgin material. The second product is products that are produced locally within the local market, which will also replace products that are being imported, saving costs, delivery fees, and so forth. The third product that the communities sell is the plastic credits. Plastic credits are basically like carbon credits, but using plastic. We've joined with a company called South Pole, and South Pole are the technical advisors to the 3R initiative, which is developing a global plastic credit standard that will be used around the world as a, as a guiding principle for all recycling companies, all businesses that want to offset their plastic credits. And our pilot program in Bali is one of the first to be trialling this new plastic system which will be rolled out in January 2021. We engage with a company, we look at their plastic footprint, we give them advice on how to eliminate toxic plastics, substitute unsustainable plastics, plastics that can be recycled within their product ranges. Whatever they're left over with, that is what they can offset and buy plastic credits from communities that have recycling programs. We can track the materials from the very first person that picked it up and from the area that they collect it from, whether it's from households, businesses, um, organisations or programs. That material can be tracked along its way and verified at every stage and that, that enables manufacturers or other buyers of the products, they're assured that it has a provenance. And then we can also link it to you know, the photographs of the community that actually picked it up for them as well. Our communities on the ground, the Schroeder Recycling Stations, have remote telemetry and data storage with the cloud-based system. So we, we can capture all that information from every single project we have and we can bring it back to a central location um, and we can verify this as well. My advice for any student that wants to create a positive impact in the world is focus on solutions. Don't focus on the problem, like I definitely identify the problem, but don't focus on it. 